when you're working with Dog Waffle, in particular with PD Howler on video, um, you're going to need to have them in AVI format or as a sequence of images, like a sequence of target files, TGA files, TIFF files, PNGs, whatever you want. If your 3D program renders that that way, then you can use the image sequence. Or if you have a digital video camera, like I have in this case, um, recorded a couple of video clips and they typically come out in movie files, some quick time files right here. Um, those we can't load directly into Dog Waffle at the moment, maybe in the future, but right now um, I'm going to show you what I do to convert them to an AVI file. Uh, essentially what I'll do is, uh, let's take this one here, Kitty Eyes, I renamed it to Kitty Eyes um, because I'll actually want to do some math tracking and change the color of the eyes. Um, you will see that these are movie files. Right, right click on that and what I'll do is I'll open it with WinFF. Uh, WinFF is a free um, tool to convert uh, amongst many different file formats. And it's based, it's powered by uh, uh, FFmpeg and uh, so it has a converter for a, a number of different formats. And what I'll do is I'll simply drag and drop it right in here. So I'll go to Kitty Eyes, Movie File, drag and drop it and there you go. And the format, uh, what I'll do is I'll save it out <coughs> to, let's see, <coughs> D folder, media, a daily dose, seven new, and to the kitty. Where's my kitty? Kitty, 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 there you are. Okay, so I'll save it out to the same folder. Um, <coughs> there's many different formats you can convert to. Uh, we'll just stick with the AVI, that's the one I have here by default. And there's a couple of different settings, uh, presets. I'll go with the XVID widescreen. And you might want to experiment with this a little bit. Um, in my use of it, I've seen that it uh, reduces the size. The, the original file is 1280 by 720. So when you play this, it's coming out pretty big. And I'd want to keep it that way as long as I can. So let's go and keep it 1280 by 720, but let's make sure it's not uh, reduced to something different. So here we go. Um, I'm going to tell it best quality, so that would be two pass. And I can set the size and force it to 1280 by 720. Knowing that that's what it already is, I want to keep it that way. Not sure if it's changing the frame rate. If I know it's a 24 or it's a 30 frames a second video, I might want to force it to that, but I'm not exactly sure if it's changing it. I'll just leave it away and hope it's going to be good. One thing you could do still is to uh, add another parameter here for FFmpeg uh, to tell it to give it as much as possible the same quality as the original. So it doesn't lower the bitrate by default. And there's a, a parameter for that called uh, same Q as in same quality. So if you add a dash same Q, you may have a very high bit rate, but it's better to have that, especially if you go to a lossy format, uh, if your codec that you choose, such as XVID, is not a lossless format. All right, so let's go and convert that. And here we go. Got the conversion in progress <clears throat> at 11,000 kilobit per second. Pretty high bit rate and um, this is the first pass of two and we'll pretty soon have the video okay here's the second pass and that comes down to a lower bit rate so the file size should be pretty small and we should be able to use this in dog waffle or in other programs you know if you want to convert that or use it or edit that uh, in some other video editing programs why not so this is this is one tool that I use and that I seem to have pretty good success with. I like to recommend it. It's free. It's called FFmpeg. And a few more seconds and we'll be done with this conversion. There you go. So now we have this file here somewhere. Kitty Eyes uh, original was the movie file. And here's the new one. This one's only 2.7 megabytes. The original in QuickTime was 56 megabytes. So let's hope it's still good enough in quality. And yes, sure enough, uh, very, very nice. And still carries the audio. Of course, in Dog Waffle, we'll drop that audio. We will just look at the frames. All right, let's go on to the next step, which is to work with this in the next tutorial.